One of the issues with our current working days is that as a working adult, we don't have much time to cook, even if we wanted to. So, what if you can do everything beforehand and then come back with a well-cooked hot food? Hello, my name is Henry. Hello, my name is Derek. Hello, my name is Sakina. Hello, my name is Yo Bang Sen. And our project title is... For our project and product, it's like a normal cooker but has more potential of providing a bigger portion and sustaining longer compared to any other cooker. But, but the difference is between our product and the current one is the heating element. The job of the heating element is basically to absorb the heat and releases over time according to the theory of thermal equilibrium so to sustain the food temperature until it's well done. And as for the current one, uses copper or any metal as the heating element, our product and project uses PCM, phase change material, as One of the most important part of the initiating process is the major stakeholders. Major stakeholders is the, any individual or organization that are interested in the project. Okay, for our group, for our project is Sam, the major stakeholder is the supervisor and judges, uh, supplier, the project sponsor, project team, customer and end user. Complexity assessment is also important in this process. Complexity, complexity assessment shows the business attributes and the technical attributes. For business attributes, it shows budget, market, time scale, geography and policies of the project. While the technical attributes, it shows ability of the resources, knowledge, skills, new technique and the scope of the project. Other than that, we need to consider any ways that might be happening. Some of the risks that might be happening is the PCM might become a well gas. The PCM might cause irritant to human body and the PCM is flammable. To avoid the PCM to become volatile gas, we shouldn't store the PCM under high temperature. The PCM should enclose inside a highly protected container and we need to use insulating material as the inner part of the cooker. I will be talking about the planning part of the project. In order to plan the activity list needed to complete the project, work breakdown structure, also known as WBS, is used. WBS is where we simply spell out the tasks needed to produce project, deliverables, and to complete the project. The purpose of doing this is to break down a huge project into small and meaningful tasks and avoid ambiguity. The project is break down into three parts, PCF, container and PCM casing. The PCM chosen is barium hydroxide due to its availability in the school laboratory. Then we need to determine what is the phase change temperature and the amount of PCM needed to cook a fixed amount of food. Then the alkalinity of PCM needed to be reduced due to its safety purposes. Next, the container is mainly made out of wood and polystyrene due to its low heat capacity and chemically inert which is perfect for insulator. There will be a tight seal and a locking mechanism to minimize the heat escape to surroundings. Lastly, the PCM will be placed below the food container. The PCM container must be a good conductor and chemically inert to prevent the PCM from reacting with the container. The design of the container must be ideal to ensure all heat is absorbed by the food above it. On the other hand, a gun chart is used to ensure the project is always on time. Tasks are break down into each week and all the given tasks must finish before the due date to prevent the project from falling behind schedule. To execute the project, we need to ensure certain things such as acquire final team members, team communication, identification and the selection of sellers. Besides that, we need to make sure that we follow the process, stick to the plan, and only make changes when necessary. The new responsibility chart is made to dedicate the task between team members and show teamwork of a group. 
from the table, number one represent the primary responsibilities and number two represent the supporting responsibility. Alright, in this process, we must make sure that our product and the procedures that we took is aligned with the end results or the goals. So in this product, there's two parts which is the insulator container and the food container. First, the PCM is located inside the food container's wall. So in order to maintain and monitor it, we have to make sure that the pressure and the space is just enough for the PCM to actually sustain. So to avoid any container bursting or breaking to ensure the customer's safety. Second is the insulator container. An experiment is conducted to monitor the temperature so that the container do, does its job to contain the heat inside to maintain the temperature as much as possible. So for our project in Jinfa, we have three deliverables. The first deliverable is the cooker design. Our cooker has three main components. The first one being the lid to cover the cooker itself. The second layer is the insulating layer to prevent heat loss during the cooking process. And lastly, the most inner core is the cooker itself with the face chain material at the base. Next, our second durable is the face chain material. For our PCM, we have chosen bare hydroxide. Bare hydroxide have a 78 degrees melting point and can restore and release a lot of heat. How the PCM works is by when the heat is applied to the cooker, barrel hydroxide will melt at 76, 78 degrees, sorry. And then during this melting process, it stores heat. When heat is removed, the phase change material will attempt to change back to its solid state. During this phase change process is when the barrel hydroxide's um, temperature maintains constant. It's when this moment that this constant temperature will cook fully. And also for housekeeping purposes, the bare hydroxide is soluble in water. What this means is that when the bare hydroxide loses its thermal capabilities, it will also we can replace it by just washing it away. Alright, so for the third derivative is our DIY digital thermometer. Our digital thermometer is built so that we can read the temperature from the cooker. So what our temperature monitor, what temperature thermometer is built with is an LM35 temperature sensor and with an Arduino Uno microprocessor. How does it read the temperature is by the Arduino, reads the voltage drop across the uh, sensor and then does the math and displays the exact temperature at the LCD display unit. Alright, so for our summary review, we will divide it into four categories. Schedule, scope, budget and quality. These four categories determine whether or not our project is in good standing or not. Okay, so for schedule, our project is currently on time as we have built our prototype and we are currently putting in the finishing touches for next week's engineering fair. For the scope, in our initial experiments, bare hydroxide does indeed store heat and release heat in a constant rate. So when it is placed within our cooker, it is definitely bound to cook food. For the budget, our project budget is 400 ringgit as stated by Dr. Edwin. Since most of our material we salvage from the lab storeroom, the only thing we need to buy is bare hydroxide and the LCD unit as the lab does not have those components. And for the last part quality, our project is considered as acceptable as our build quality is not too shabby or not too professional. That is all of our presentation. Thank you very much.